on uh, in the last game on Saturday. But what do you think the combination of you and Matt Gold can kind of bring to this team? And how do you feel like he maybe changes you guys uh, attacking wise uh, down the stretch here? Um, yeah, he's uh, he's an interesting player. Um, it's um, I'm not I'm not too sure what his his um, his position is on the field. Uh, he's he's creative. He's He's, uh, he has a good pass. He has a good shot. Um, so I'm hoping he's a bit more of an attacking player in the game. Um, I think the the idea was for him to come into the midfield, um, maybe play as an eight or a ten uh, alongside me. And I don't know what the the coach's idea is if if that's what he expects not going forward out of him. Um, but no, little by little in training, it's it's good to see him improve uh, and adjust to um, the team's needs. Hi, Georgie. Um, it is a pretty big challenge that you guys are facing playing New England tomorrow night. Some people would probably kind of start crying, but I know that you guys are a bunch of people who kind of relish that kind of challenge. Uh, uh, just elaborate on that, please. Yeah, it's... Um... Of course, you look at how they are in the standings and the record, and you you think to yourself, "Wow, this is going to be a tough game." But but if you look at how we performed against the top teams in the league, it's always like we're we're always ready for for games against the top teams, and it's almost like it's more difficult to play against teams that are at the lower end of this of the standings. So so it's actually very easy for for us to to wake up tomorrow morning and to. <laughs> I was saying it's um, it's very easy for for me um, in particular, and I'm sure for a lot of other guys to wake up in the morning for a game like tomorrow and and to feel motivated, to to feel confident, and and we're playing at home, and I think we play really well at home, and and yeah, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be a really important important game with um, in regards to the standings. Jeremy Filosa. Yeah, Georgie, I, I just want to uh, develop maybe a little bit more with the relationship with Matt Cole. Do you see him as a type of player that you guys think you can combine with, or do you think he's a type of player that um, resembles your style a little bit too much, and maybe you know you guys are better off being either one playing or the other one playing, or is it really too early to tell? Um. I think it's uh, it's a bit too early to tell. Um, I think, like I said, he's a. Uh, I mean, just from my first impressions, he's a he's an attacking minded player, just like me. Um, I think um, you know, if going forward, I don't I don't know what the the coach's plan is. To if if he's a player that would come in for my place, or he was a player that would compliment me, I don't know what the plan is. Um, but I I know just from the the few weeks that he's been here already that he has the quality and and I'm, I'm aware I think that he hasn't played in a, in a while so it's going to take a little bit of time for him to to get his his feet going again which is completely normal and but you could already see the the quality and the uh, and that he that he has Joey yeah thank you and, uh, Georgia you guys have New England Atlanta and Philadelphia in the next three Uh, all at home. Do you think this is kind of where uh, you guys, you know, make it or break it this next three game stretch? Yeah, a hundred percent. That's for me, that's the mindset that I have. Um, and I, I talked to some of the, the guys. Uh, we, we always say that oh, every game now we play is a must win game. We, we, we have to get points, but We do have what eight games left in the season, so it's almost like it's not do or die yet. But the next four games are are going to put us in a position, either a really good position for the last four games or a very difficult position the last four games. And what we can accomplish, the amount of points we get in, in this next stretch before, and then even the next two games before the international break, it's it's going to put us in a either a really good place or a difficult place. Une autre question pour Georgie. Any more questions for Georgie today? Oui, Jérémy. 
Uh, Georgie, we spoke to the coach yesterday about this uh, complicated issue with the Canadian Championship, not knowing when the game's going to take place. Uh, coach says he'd like to be able to make the schedule and probably give some guys a break, but not knowing when the game's going to be played, it's, it's, it's an issue. How are you guys uh, living this internally? Uh, I'm guessing not really being able to make plans uh, for for the, the break, not knowing exactly what's going to happen. Um, I mean, me personally, and I don't I don't see that too much of an issue with in regards to the team in general. But me me in particular, I don't I'm not really focused on what's that game. To be honest, I, I'm really we're just focused on the next game and which is tomorrow, and then after that it's Saturday. So it's, it's funny because even the last Canadian Cup game, I didn't even know I didn't even look to the schedule to see when that game was until you know like that it was it was going to come up to be the next game so i think i'm going to feel the same way against with with this next game in the canadian cup just because each game that we have in the in the season in the league is very important and and i don't even want to think about that game really all right that's it for today thank you georgie thank you Et la Sila Palanen sera avec nous dans quelques instants. Merci. La scie euh, s'installe à l'instant, le, levez vos mains. Euh, si vous avez des questions, merci. Hi, Lassi, how are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you? Excellent. Thank you, man. Première question, first question, Jeff Morancy. Hi, Lassie. Uh, can you, uh, at this moment, confirm the uh, information that you will have a new contract in your pocket with the club for the next season and you are here to stay? Uh, yes, exactly. That's correct. Question, question. Next question, Joey Alfieri. Uh, hey, Lassie, I've got two for you. So just building off that, what was it about this city? What is it about the project uh, that made you want to re-up and commit to this club? Uh, well, there's there's few reasons, of course, but uh, here I felt I felt I can play, I can improve as a player. That's the most important thing. And of course, I, I like the club, I like the city. Um, But the biggest biggest thing was that here I can play as much and, uh, and uh, improve as a player. Jeremy? Uh, Lassie, in the last couple of games, uh, you've played on occasion up top as a striker. How do you feel uh, uh, playing that role? And uh, are you willing to, to play it more often if needed? Uh, yeah, I think, I think that's... Maybe a little bit more my position than being a defender or wing back. So I, I have no no problem with that. Est-ce qu'il y a d'autres questions pour euh, Lassie euh, aujourd'hui? Joey? Joey Alfieri, another question? Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, Lassie, thanks again. Um, I'm curious now, just elaborating on that as well, uh, just the difficulties and, and how different it is to play that left wing back spot that you were playing, like how comfortable uh, did you feel there? And what are the challenges? I'd imagine that having to do a lot more of the work defensively uh, is something that uh, 
that's different, but just in your mind, like how is it different than what you're accustomed to? Uh, I think always I had a good, good defensive uh, work ethic. So that's, that's not a problem, but I think the more it was like positioning or it's positioning and stuff like that. But I think uh, every, every game I played, I learned more. And I, of course, we watched clips and stuff about it. So it was more comfortable in the end, but yeah. So um, I, I don't, I also, I don't have a problem playing with that. I, I think it was getting better every, every game. And then for Lassie, one last question for Lassie today. Okay. That's, oh, je vois Jeremy. Ouais, Jeremy. Sorry, I thought my hand was up. I guess uh, my mistake, I must have uh, tapped it by mistake. Um, Lassie, uh, we talked a little bit yesterday about the um, uh, about uh, activity in the stadium and trying to get the crowd uh, behind you. Um, it, it will be a third straight game on uh, Wednesday without the ultras behind the net. Do you feel as a player as though, um, you know, it's been, it's been a punishment enough and that it's time to to move on to be able to have those fans in the stadium to to push you guys tomorrow night against a tough team. Thanks. Sorry, what what, what was the question? The question was, do you feel like it's time uh, to let the the uh, the fans behind the net, the ultras, back into the stadium in order to get that push that the coach was talking about yesterday to help you guys? Uh, Uh, possibly beat re the revolution tomorrow. Uh, I mean, I think I think in the stadium it's been pretty good atmosphere, atmosphere, anyways. But it's not me who will decide that. I mean, I I, I don't know. To be honest, I, I can't answer that. But I think the atmosphere is being good in the stadium, and of course we need a lot of help with from the fans to beat beat every team. But I think it's it's been fine. And Joey Alfieri, last one. Lashi, the next three games, you guys are going to be uh, home to New England, home to Atlanta, home to Philadelphia. Like, how crucial is this stretch to set you guys up for the final portion of the season? Well, of, of course, we we know how much points we need to get to reach the playoffs. But, I mean, it's I know we can win every game easily. So... I don't know. We just we just play our game, and I I know it it will it will get to us to playoffs. That's it for today. C'est tout pour aujourd'hui. Merci beaucoup, Lassi. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye. Alors euh, n'oubliez pas le match euh, demain euh, contre euh, le New, New England Revolution à 19h30 au Stade Saputo, suivi euh, de la conférence de presse d'après match de Wilfred Nancy et de Joie. Merci beaucoup d'avoir été là et désolé pour les, les pépins techniques aujourd'hui. Salut.